Right, hello everyone and welcome to Zedlow's Kitchen. As you can see, we're going to be cooking on the flat top again. I'm just going to douse this with some oil. Get it really nice and oiled up. I'm going to let that oil kind of do its thing. And today we're going to be making, I got some, let's see, that is tater tots, got some pepper and onion blend, and some steak. So, I'll show you what I see from the steak with. Sorry about the train. So, ooh, didn't that look good? Didn't that look good? So, the steak is garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, minced garlic, and black pepper, I don't know if I said that one. And then some parsley. I, that's what I did with that. I feel like I'm missing a seasoning, but I can't remember. As you can see, our grill is getting hot. Oh, I'm zooming in. I don't want to zoom in. All right. You can see it's starting to smoke. That's good. I'm going to put that right there. I'm sure you can't see much. I'm going to open this bag up. peppers and onions. Now, you don't have to use a, you don't have to use a frozen bag like this. I just had it on hand, and I didn't have peppers and onions, so we're going to cook these first. Just like that, as you can see, I'm going to take our, just going to move them around. Oh, it smells delicious already. Okay. Then I'm going to add in the potato puffs as well. And I'll go ahead and put you guys down for a moment. I'm going to add those. It's not much. I am making rice too, but I decided I just kind of wanted to see if I could test out potatoes. But we got to get those already. Looking good, looking good. Give me one thing, I'll be right there. To this, I'm just going to add in this smoked paprika and onion with garlic and pepper just to kind of flavor it up, give it some nice color. I'm just going to season all of it just like that. Then with the potatoes, I'm also going to spray them with some oil. We're going to go ahead and Ooh, that's Ooh. That's the sound you want to hear. Oops, that is the potato. Just again, I'm just gonna just to season it a little more. Just make sure these everything's nice and seasoned. And then two are uh, steaks. These are, I believe, top sirloin steaks. I also added a little bit of oil. That way, everything kind of stuck together. But yep, there we are. As you can see, I kind of flattened all the tater tots. Since it got hot, they kind of just fell apart, which is fine because that actually looks really good. Almost like a, almost like a really big hash brown, honestly. But that's that's good. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our steak and we're going to put these right on the grill. We're going to take them put them right on the grill and we're just going to let them cook about medium, medium well, rare, medium rare between there. And where it's just a nice pink in the middle, but it still is nice and juicy. I'm going to let these get a nice, really good crust on them. 
Look at this. Ready? Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's check this one. Look at that. Looks fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and keep cooking those. We're gonna keep cooking these too. These are getting a nice, nice char on them. These are pretty much done, honestly. I'm gonna go grab a bowl and our dinner will be ready. So this is pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do this with one hand. Go ahead and drop it in there. Just like that. I'm going to turn these. These are pretty much done as well. Just like that. As you can see, look at the nice crust on them. Oh, that looks so delicious. But they're going to finish cooking as I take these off the heat. So now I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this sit for maybe like five minutes to make, get all the juices back into the steak. I think we are ready to eat. Look how delicious that looks. Mm-hmm.